Hi, this is John with SysEng Quick. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a transparent HTTP proxy using IP tables and Tiny Proxy. The purpose of a transparent proxy is to force traffic through the proxy without configuring anything on the client. It's a great way to filter HTTP traffic. I'll assume you already have Tiny Proxy set up. If you need help with that, I've made a video that's in the Debian Quick Tips playlist, but I'll put a link in the video description. To divert traffic to another location, like a proxy, we just use a destination NAT rule. The concept is the same as when we took traffic sent to the firewall on a particular port and redirected it to the SSH port on one of the machines behind the firewall. So let's add a rule to redirect traffic to Tiny Proxy. So we're going to put this in the NAT chain, table I mean, in the pre-routing chain. We're going to put it before that other transparent proxy rule I already have in here from a video that's a little bit out of order, but we won't worry about that just yet. Uh, it's going to be TCP port 80, which is HTTP. We'll add our comment, transparent HTTP proxy. Uh, the source is going to be the local area network that we've got behind our firewall. And finally, we do destination net to destination 172.16.1.1, which is the internal IP of the proxy. And it's on port 8888. Okay, let's go ahead over into our Fedora test machine and we can see if the proxy is getting connections from it. So we'll bring up the proxy log so we can see what's happening and we'll go over into Fedora and let's try sustainablesites.org. That should be HTTP only and you can see there's tons of stuff listed over here in the proxy. So we are getting that transparent redirection. All right, so that's how you set up transparent HTTP proxying with IP tables and tiny proxy. If you want to do HTTPS proxying, you'll have to use Squid, and I'll have a video for that pretty soon. See you next time.